Hi, this is Terry Wilson with Doing HR Differently, and this is Tuesday's Thought. Respond versus react. Tuesday's thought is always about a question to ponder, and ponder means to think about, to reflect on, or to give due consideration. And that's what you do when you choose to respond versus react. Reacting is an emotional decision. Responding is an intentional decision. We really don't talk a lot about emotions at work, but they're there, and we see it in how people interact with each other and how situations are handled. Have you ever responded emotionally at work? Of course you have. Emotions are what you feel when something happens, good or bad. It's good to feel. We were made to feel. But we also have the power to choose what we do with those feelings. So when those emotions come, because they will, you have a key question to answer. Do you want to make decisions based on your emotions? Unless it's a safety situation, it's probably better to respond than to react to people and situations. I believe this is how we learned what being professional is. So how do you remain professional by choosing to respond versus react? One, remain self-aware. Be in tune with what's going on inside and outside of you. Acknowledge how you feel in the moment. It is what it is. Don't judge it. Try to understand why you feel what you're feeling. Two, exercise self-discipline. Let the urgency of the moment pass. Make a conscious decision to remain in control of you and the decisions you get to make. Talk to yourself while the emotion's happening to reduce the urge to react. You may need to count to 10 to create space between reacting and responding. And it's okay to be silent in the situation as you think through what you want your response to be. You can also have a canned response such as, I need a moment. Three, decide what is the best response for you and the situation because decisions have consequences. As a leader, when you choose to respond versus react to people and situations, you lower the chances of making avoidable mistakes, having to apologize for unprofessional or bad behavior, damaging your relationships, creating a toxic culture, and gaining a reputation for being a volatile leader. What do you think your coworkers want you to do? They'd want you to respond, not react.